Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne. Recently I had a requirement to create a team off the back of a trigger in the common data service. Now I looked in Power Automate and couldn't find an action within the Teams connector for it. So I did a bit of digging and I found that you can do it through Microsoft Graph. This video will show you how it's done. In my experience, the best place to start is always with the official Microsoft documentation. This is the page we need here. And the key bit of information, the first bit of information that we need to know is this here. A team must have a group. So you must create the group first before you create the team. So let's go ahead and do that. The trigger I've got here isn't important. I've also initialized the team name to begin with, but that's up to you whether you want to do that or not. What I want to do first is create the group in Azure directory. And we'll use the Azure AD connector for that. And there's an action in there, which actually just creates the Office 365 group. So that's what I'm going to use. Stick in display name. The description could be whatever you want. The mail nickname can't contain spaces. There's a few other restrictions on there. So we'll just put the reference in there. And I'll enable it for security and mail. So if we save that, and I like to split my flows out. So check whether the first bit works first. So let's test that. Hit test, and then I'll pop off to a common data service and perform the action that triggers that flow. Excellent. Our flow ran successfully. And we should just check AD and just check that that groups has been created. That's the new one there. Now let's go back to the flow and start taking the steps required to create our team. We're going to create our team by sending an HTTP request to the Graph API. The first thing you would normally do is get an authentication token, but because we're using the HTTP action within Power Automate, we don't have to go through all of that. We can just set our authentication property to Active Directory OAuth. And that will allow us to provide a few more details in order to authenticate. So it saves us having to create a separate HTTP request to get an authentication token. And we can get those details by registering an app in Azure. Let's first search for app registrations. We're going to click new registration to register a new app. I'm just going to give it a name and then leave the account types at their default setting. If you look at this screen, we've already got the application ID and the directory ID. But we first need to give this app some permissions. So we click Add Permissions and then choose the Microsoft Graph option. And we're going to give it application permissions so that it can run in the background because that's what our flow is going to do. The first permission we need to add is the group.readwriteall. The second one is directory.readwrite.all. And finally, the user. Dot read dot all. Then click to add the permissions. And once you add them, you need to then grant them by clicking the Grant Admin Consent button. We should get some nice green ticks. And then the last piece of information we need is a secret. And we do that by clicking Certificates and Secrets. And then we'll create a new client secret. I'm going to set this to Never Expire. And just give it a description that means something to you. And that's the value we want there. So let's copy that to your clipboard. So that's us got the three pieces of information that we need to authenticate. And I'll just store them in variables in this flow. We have the application ID, the secret, the client secret, and the directory ID. For the audience, we put in https colon forward slash forward slash graph.microsoft.com. Now that we have an action to create our group and we have enough details to authenticate the request, let's have a look at where we should be making a request, what type of request it is, and the body that our request should contain. There's the body that we need. It's a put request to that URL. So let's copy that over. And where it says ID, that's the group ID that we created previously. So we can get that from the results of the previous action. And for this example, we'll just copy and paste the body straight from the example given by the Microsoft documentation. 
Now let's have a look at this bit, because this bit's quite important. There's a bit here that says, if the group was created less than 15 minutes ago, it's possible that a team call would fail a 404 error. And that's due to replication. The recommended pattern is to try the create team call three times with a 10 second delay between calls. So if you were doing this in a real development environment, you would put those retries in. In fact, I would probably retry the recommended three times with a 10 second gap plus a fourth time after like the 50 minutes to make sure that you catch it and there's nothing missed. Because I'm just playing in my trial environment, I'm not going to put those retries in. So I'm going to test that now by doing the trigger in the common data service. The flow completes successfully, but let's just check whether our team's been created. And there it is there. So I learned a few things by doing that exercise. I learned how to create an app registration in Azure AD, how to create an Office 365 group in Azure AD, and I also learned how to use MS Graph API to create the team. All that using Power Automate. Now, there's probably a few other things you want to do rather than just have teams being created automatically willy nilly. You probably want to add some sort of approval process or add members to that group. But that's not what this video covers. This video just shows you how to create the team. And I hope you find it useful. Until next time, blue skies.